All right, so we're back here on our main account this time. And only reason I'm on here is because my other ones, well, I just want to tell you one thing about the other ones. Um, my other accounts are um, both at career highs right now. My The higher one is at 1937. I just lost the battle and won one, so I don't want to push Royal Arena right now. I only want to do two at once. And my lower account, believe it or not, it's in Builder's Workshop. I actually, actually, I can search for it right now. Let me see. Um, NU Rebirth 3. Oops, spelled it wrong. Let me just search NU Rebirth and it'll come up. There we go. Pretty small right now, but um, look at that. Literally, we are in Builder's Workshop on this account using this same deck, a level 4 hog still. Insane. And... Since I did that on my lower account, I absolutely know I can get to Royal Arena on the higher one. So I absolutely know that. As for this account, we've been doing decent, as you can look at our battle log. But as you may have seen there, we got the princess. We actually, I got it out of a gold chest. And literally, it was, it's probably the best I've ever reacted towards getting a legendary. I wish I would have gotten it on video like I did the second Ice Wizard, but... It was pretty awesome. I was using this deck for a little while, using all three of my legendaries, but now I'm kind of settled on this one. I'm having a level four mirror, which is actually working out pretty darn well for this deck. Level three freeze, back to hog freeze, level eight hog, going for level 12 barbarians. Now the bombers turned out to be a very good card. Instead of using the bomb tower, I used the bomber for a lot less elixir. I have wanted to try the bomb tower there for a little bit, but I haven't actually bothered to. We may in this video, it's going to be a short one. And then the Fire Spirits have been very darn nice as well. Because at level 9, against the level 9 King Tower, they take two shots, which makes them much better than the Spear Goblins. I'm going to need to get those upgraded once I hit level 10 for sure. As you can see, I'm closing in on it decently close. So we're just going to do two battles in this video, one of the Bomber and one of the Bomb Tower, and see how we do here in Frozen Peak. Good luck. Double thumbs up. I'm facing level 10, which means I need to use the princess for the ship damage. These guys will die in one hit to a level 10 king tower, which I don't really like, but they're fine for defense. So notice how I do this. I'm going to drop the princess right away, and she's literally going to get a shot no matter what. So they're going to use the bowler. The bowler is actually a very darn nice card, I will say. Okay, we are going to play an ice wizard here to try to slow down that giant. We're going to need to wait for the bowler to catch up and then place the barbarians right. Oh, no, I did not place the barbarians on it, which is a big concern. And we have another giant poison deck right here. Luckily, I had my fire spirits available. Giant poison is so difficult to play against because you can counter it fine like I did. But look at all my troops. They're at so low health, I can't develop any sort of a counter push. So now that he's got that push advantage over me, there isn't really too, too much that I can actually, like, do to get rid of that and take another shot. Now, because he played his pump, we can go in here for our hog, and he should only have, like, the bowler to counter. Oh, he's going to play the guards. Okay, but he plays them further back. Once that guard is in range, now we're going to freeze and do a work on that tower. And the guard doesn't actually do that much damage, so we're actually going to take out the tower and notice how we're building back up on Elixir. So literally, we're up on Elixir now, and we took a tower. He does have an Elixir pump, though, which is a little bit worrisome. We're going to start with our Ice Wizard in the back. We need to see where he plays his bowler, plays it a little bit farther back, understands that his, um, we're going to play the Barbarians right around the bowler, drop our Princess behind the poison, plays the Lumberjack, okay. I've been seeing a lot more Lumberjacks being used, and we're going to be able to take out his giant. However, a Rage Musketeer is not going to turn out well for us. However, the Bomber is going to get a hit and allow the Princess to take it out. Okay, so at this point, I'm in defensive mode. I need to be able to defend here. I'm saving my Mirror for the Giant, because I can Mirror Barbarians. There we go, because I can use Barbarians on the um, Bowler as soon as he comes right about there. And then I can use more Barbarians on the Giant to make sure that the Giant does nothing to us. And now he's got a pretty darn big push to deal with. We're going to play the Bomber here behind the level 9 Barbarians. He's going to have to Poison there, which means his next push will not have the Poison, which makes it much easier for us to defend. Only 17 seconds here. There's the Mirror, which is perfect, exactly what I want to see. 
We'll drop our level 11 barbs there that time and drop level 9 ones around the bowl or to take him out. And that is how you do it. That's why I love the mirror because you can do stuff like that. If a guy is like a sparky and a giant or a, gi a royal giant and a giant or a hog and a giant, a lot of people do. You can take stuff out like that. Most people like to put something behind the giant. If it's a, like a wizard or a musketeer, I just play barbarians in the middle. If it's um a um if it's a bowler like that, I'll play two barbarians. If it's a giant and a royal giant, I'll play two. A hog and a giant, I'll play two in front and in back. So yeah, that's that for sure. You know, I actually think I'm gonna stop it here because I do have some stuff to do. That worked pretty darn well. So I don't think I'm gonna try the bomb tower right now. Let's see. That moves it up to three point four. Um, only reason I don't like that is because the, 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 the bomber is such a cheap counter. Like, I wonder if having it now up to five elixir instead of three, it now becomes like a, a, a kill card almost. And the bowler, the bomb, the bomber is a nice kill card at its low, le at its low elixir cost, which I like. Yeah, I consider the kill cards, like the bigger cards that can like take things out no matter what. So like the barbarians at level 11, they can take anything out pretty much no matter what you put against them. I... I view the Valkyrie as a kill card, though I've never actually used it before. I never really like liked it too too much. And um, what's the other one that I view as that? Oh yeah, the, and then the bomb tower itself, and then the bowler in a way too. If you do because it the what the bowler does is it takes up the space. So if you do what I did with the barbarians, I need to now play ten elixir to get rid of the ten elixir heated. Fair trade, but still, I still consider that a kill card. And then the bomb tower too. I like to have more cheap counters, which is why I think this deck is working pretty darn well compared to the old one I used to use. And having the princess is just, you know, it's excellent. So that is definitely the overall goal right now. Trying to get these upgraded. Obviously, I need to save 50,000 gold, which I'm working on now that I have everything upgraded. I'm pretty much settled on this deck. Any changes I could possibly want to make to this deck are at a playable level, I would say. Like, anything I could possibly want to change is at a fine level to put in. If I want to put the bowler in, I'm fine at level 2. You know, everything's at a playable level of the cards I like to use. So now I start saving 50,000 gold. So that's just the entire um shebang here that's going on. Obviously, you can't join any tournaments, and that'll do it. So thank you guys for watching. That is the update for the main account. I'll see you guys next time when we push Royal Arena on our middle account.